In this video, we are going to discuss convolution padding and stride. If you remember my CNN video, in that we discussed the handwritten digit recognition. And we came up with three different filters or feature detectors for digit 9. Those were loopy pattern detector, which is like a head of digit 9, vertical line detector, which is a middle part and the tail which is a diagonal line filter and when we apply this filter what we find is we uh, reduce the input size by a little bit so in this case the input was 5 by 7 when you apply 3 by 3 filter you get 3 by 5 feature map which is an output and the formula is m by f plus 1 into n by f plus 1. So here m is the dimension of this input 5 by 7 and f is filter dimension and if you do the math you get 3 by 5. This is called a valid convolution or valid pa valid padding. The problem with this approach is that the pixels on the corner they don't get to play important role in feature detection. For example, this pixel which I have highlighted in this color, it participates only in one convolution operation, which is this corner. Whereas if you look at this pixel, it gets to participate in this particular convolution as well as this. So you see, it participates in multiple uh, convolutions and multiple feature detections hence this is not ideal P basically the the pixels on the corners are not playing an important role uh, for feature detection and image classification to solve this problem what we can do is we can uh, pad the original image with let's say here in this case i am using one by one padding so on each each side of your rectangle we are adding uh, one row or one column of empty pixels like this and you can put some values like minus one here minus one represents basically a blank background so minus one everywhere okay I, I did not have time to draw minus one in each of this corner but just imagine minus one everywhere now when you apply three by three filter you can start from very corner and you can go like this so this way uh, even this this corner pixel like this minus one it, it will play a lot of role because it, it will be see it will contribute in this one then when this filter moves down it will play a role in at multiple times you know while detecting these features now if you think about dimensions the original image was 5 by 7 but we added see two columns and two rows so it became 7 by 9 so pay attention to this number it was 5 by 7 but it now becomes 7 by 9 okay with padding 1 and if you do the math using that formula m minus f plus 1 and so on you will realize that this time you get the original image back so original image was what 5 by 7 you applied padding of one when you do filter you get five by seven back so you're kind of preserving that image back and at the same time the corner pixels gets to play a fair role in the feature detection this is called same convolution so just to summarize we have valid convolution which means no padding same convolution means pad such that the output is same as input now if you're using tensorflow api often you will find this argument padding where you will either supply a value of same or valid so if you come across this argument now you know what is valid convolution versus same convolution now let's uh, talk about strides we saw in our previous cnn tutorial as well that uh, when we apply convolution we have this kind of filter window which we keep on moving so right now we are moving it by one pixel. You see one pixel left and one pixel down. So this is called stride of one by one. 
So in a x direction, see x direction we moved by one pixel. When we came down, we also moved by one pixel. That's why it's called stride of one by one. You can also have a stride, you can have a more stride. It's, it doesn't have to be one by one all the time. You can do maybe two by two. So in two by two, you will move by two pixels. You see that? I moved by two pixels. So one and two. Now my window is here. Similarly, when I move vertically, I'll move by two pixels. See, right now I'm, I'm at the top. See, one, two. This is called a stride of two by two. And again, when you're using TensorFlow API, you can specify the strides like this. By default, the strides will be one by one. And by default, the padding, padding will be valid, which means there will be no padding. But you can modify this. Now these are hyperparameters to your model. So based on your situation, based on your data set, you might want to specify different strides or different padding. I hope you like this video and I hope you're enjoying this deep learning tutorial series. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. I have many more uh, tutorials coming in in this series and many times I provide coding tutorials as well as the exercises and th this video was just pure theory just to go over these important concepts all right thank you for watching